Technology and fashion cooking show video take number... What is it now? 23! Take 23. Hi, everyone. I'm Strawberry Shortcake. Tonight, I'm making Myrtle Berry Meringue. It's a great favorite here at Strawberry's Cafe in Berry Bitty City, and it's such a fun recipe. Of course, the most important ingredient is a big bowl of merry, mirthful, mirthful berries. I mean, Myrtle. Myrtle berries. Oh, sorry. Cut! That's a mirthful mouthful. Take 24. Of course, the most important ingredient is a big bowl of merry, mirthful myrtle berries. Uh, oh, no! Oh. oh! Cut! I'll tell you one thing, Strawberry. Don't quit your day job. Sour? What? Quiet on the set, please. Oh, sorry. Was I holding you up? Like it makes a difference. They say they're going to play this video on a skirt they're inventing. That's also a video screen. I mean, seriously? <laughs> Sour, please. Take 25. Of course, the most important ingredient is a big bowl of merry, mirthful oh, myrtle berries. Cut! What? <gasps> One more time. Quiet on the set. Take 26. Of course, the most important ingredient is a big bowl of merry, mirthful myrtle bow. <sighs> oh, not again. Oh, power's been going off all day. We'll never get our video done. What are they doing down at the Berry Works power station? Finally, take 27. Ugh. How are you whiz kids gonna enter a technology in fashion contest with no technology? We'll have to continue later, whiz kids. It's getting dark and I need to take care of deliveries at the marketplace. But first, I'm gonna find out what's going on at the Berry Works. Gimme! Ah! Oh. Somebody cap that cracked crinolator! Bouncing bitter berries! What happened, Barrick and Bruce? Ah, uh, Sparkleberry strainer popped a grommet. Oh, looks bad. Uh, not as bad as when the peach pit pulverizer exploded. We were up to our pips and pulp for a week. Hey! Move that mango masher! No, not that one! The other one! Eh, don't worry. Barricans are on the job. The power will be up and down tonight, but we'll have it fixed by first thing in the morning. I hope. Come on, Barrykins! This whole place looks like it's too very short of a fruit salad! I'd better tell the girls it's a wrap till tomorrow. Oh, uh, Strawberry Shortcake speaking. Hi, Cousin Strawberry. Apple Dumpling? <laughs> I haven't talked to you in forever. How are you? I'm great! Always on the move, you know. Gotta see what's over that next hill, as we real travelers say. Thought I'd call and let you know I was thinking of stopping by for a quick visit. Oh, I'd love to see you. Things are just a little... crazy right now. When were you thinking of arriving? I'm guessing in about five, four, three, two, one. Huh? Are you all right? Sure. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, this was nothing. Did I tell you about the time I climbed Mount Macadamia and discovered it's a volcano? That's right. I saw your post on your Very Best Bits page, but sure you're all right? Well, I had to dodge some lava chunks the size of a house when it erupted, but other than that... Uh, no, I mean the crash. This? Ah, oh, this was no crash. The time I went over Crabapple Falls in a kayak, that was a crash. There I was, down the creek without a paddle, when all of a sudden... Oh, I almost forgot. Tea time. 
Oh, okay, I'll make us both a cup as soon as we get to town. No, tea time turtle. There he is. He goes everywhere with me. I'm so glad you came to visit. I save every postcard you send me. <gasps> Everyone's gonna be so excited to meet you. We all follow you on Very Best Bits and love all your pics and posts. Now, I don't want to cause anybody any bother. I just dropped by for a quick visit. I'll be gone before you can say, planes, trains, and airplanes. But you just got here. Oh, well, you know how it is when you're a world traveling adventurer. You have so many pen pals to visit, you can't stay in one place for long. Can you stay just a little while? The Bear Kids will have to fix the bus, and they're all busy now. <gasps> you can stay overnight with me! Well, I guess I could stay just one day. A real bedroom would be nice. I I'm used to sleeping in my tent or the cabin on my little one-girl sailboat. I mean, one girl and turtle sailboat. Right, tea time? Tea time? <laughs> oh, there you are. Sorry I can't be a better host, but I have to get all that stuff ready for tomorrow's customers. Oh, let me help. I can turn any boring chore into an adventure. Did I tell you about the time I hitched a ride on a cargo ship and helped the crew swab the deck by getting a whale to splash it clean? Oh, yeah. I read about that on your Very Best Bits feed. Didn't the ship kind of get, um, full of water? <laughs> yep. I turned it into the biggest swimming pool ever. Hmm. I, uh, see what you mean. And how did the captain feel about that? You should have seen his face. It was so sweet. I guess nobody had ever done something like that for him. He just sat there and cried. I can imagine. Leave it to me. I've got all kinds of ideas how to get this organized. No, 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 that's okay. I mean, you're my guest. You just get settled upstairs and I'll see you after I'm done working. Well, okay. You sure? Uh -huh. Very sure. Well, Barrick and Bruce said they'd get it fixed. So I'll be at the cafe first thing in the morning. Thank you, Strawberry. Okay, Lemon. You have a good night, too. <sighs> Apple, it's me. I thought you might want to see my collection of your postcards. Apple? Surprise! <laughs> well, are you ready? <laughs> For what? This. <laughs> the Crystal Crater Caverns that I explored. Isn't it just amazing? Yes, it's amazing that you can do something like this, but do you think we could turn it off so we could get some sleep? Oh, oh sure, no problem. Oops. 
mountain guy. This is dangerous. Ha ha, I said. I embrace danger. I am Apple Dumpling Girl Adventurer. And so, for all my very best bits followers of Apple's amazing adventures, I begin the story. Oh, thanks, Tea Time. I begin the story of my latest adventure, Avalanche Surfing, How I Rode the Wild Snow. <laughs> oh, hi there. Do you like my adventure story? Yeah! <laughs> well, would you like to hear more? Yeah! <laughs> well, there I was. Boarding an avalanche. Ooh. Faster and faster, I raced down the slope. The avalanche was hot on my heels. And then, all of a sudden... Ooh. Wait a minute. Why tell you about it when I can show you? Come on! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> okay. Once we install this valve, we're back in business. Ready? One, two, three! Uh, 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 <sighs> now let's see if it works. And... Hup. Call me a smoothie. It works! Widget to ratchet into the berry juice system, and you have a snow making machine. <laughs> oh no! Come on, everybody! Shell cooking video, take... What is it now? 153... Take 153. Now remember, once we've mashed our myrtle berries, we need to blend them for only one minute. If you blend too long, it will foam up and get all over... <sighs> Sorry, I didn't get much sleep last night. Hot! Take 154. Strawberry. Uh, Cat! 155. Remember, we need to blend our Myrtleberry meringue only for a minute. If we blend too long, it'll foam up and get all over everything. I think she's got it. I think this take is going to be the one. Oh. Again. <sighs> That's just wonderful. Great. What else is going to go wrong? Quick, shut it down. Shut it down. What is it? Another popped grommet? 
No, this is worse. A blowout in the juice cooler. What could have made that happen? Not what? Who? Strawberry? Apple? Can we talk? I've thought about it, and I think it's best if I just leave. <laughs> Come on, Apple, don't go. Everybody feels bad about what happened, but we can work it out. We're family here. I don't want to leave, but I have places to go, people to see. Gotta find the next big adventure for my very best bits feed. Being a famous traveler is what I do. It's why people like me. Is that why you don't stay with anyone for very long? Hot strawberry. I'm not like you and everybody else here. Having something you do that people need. At least stay until the barricans can fix the bus. Oh, I can fix the bus faster than you can say batten down the hatches. It's my fault it crashed in the first place. I got curious how the booster worked and I, uh, tried to improve it. <laughs> I guess I improved it too much. Fixed. How'd you do that? I don't know. I just kind of look at stuff and I see how it works. See you, Strawberry. Well, but... Call, okay? Send me a postcard. I will. Strawberry! <gasps> All right, where is she? That cousin of yours, where'd she go? Oh, what'd she do this time? Do? You're not gonna believe it. I don't know how she could have done such a thing. Ooh, that bad, huh? Bad? No! It's good! It's great! It's brilliant! She fixed the power system! Better than new! She's a genius! Best Sparkleberry Techie in the very bitty world! Where is she? I gotta hire her! This town needs her! Strawberry isn't answering. It keeps saying she's out of range. What'd she do? Leave town? you to give me and my crew a crash course in fixing stuff. Apple, I want you to tell the kids your adventure stories at story time. 
We all want you to stay. There's no one aboard? How to do that? Automatic return. A little feature I added tells the butterflies when you don't need the bus anymore. Because you know you're not gonna leave. When you know you found the people you want to stay with and the place you want to stay. Welcome home. was a very dark and stormy night. No, no, a very dark and very stormy night. A night perfectly made for crime. But little did the crooked criminals know, it was also a perfect night for Ace Detective Peggy Periwinkle to be on the prowl for purloiners, pilferers, and petty cooks. Not cooks, crooks. Hi, Blueberry. <laughs> Hello there, Scouty. Hey! Oh, hello, Strawberry. Cherry. What are you working on? <laughs> oh, uh, just trying to write a detective story as spectacular as a Patty Persimmon mystery. I want to submit it to Berry Bitty Mysteries magazine. Wow, do you think they would buy it? Uh, not in its present form. No. I mean, here I am, the ultimate Patty Persimmon detective fan, and I can't even come up with a decent mystery to solve. It's absolutely criminal! <laughs> oh, what a good boy, Scotty. Aren't you talented? Oh, yes, you are. Please. Well, I'd love to read your story when you're finished. While you're waiting, guess what I just got in? The latest Patty Persimmon novel, The Mystery of the Mangled Macaroni. I ordered 200 copies. Oh, uh, my goodness. Bosley, could you please toss me down a mangled macaroni? Um, I don't think... Uh, I mean... <laughs> now, where is that bookworm? Bosley? Coming up, or down. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Don't mention it. It's her best yet. A master criminal creeps into a macaroni factory, makes off with the cheese, and, well, I don't want to give away the ending, but I can tell you, it's a shocker. Oh! Enjoy! Compliments to Blueberry's Bookstore. Oh, that's very kind of you, but I still have the mystery of the haunted cell phone and the case of the gone, gone gondolier to finish before I get to this one. Cherry? Oh, if I could come back for it, I'm only halfway through the half-explained case of the half-empty milk glass, and then I have Patty Persimmon's curious case of the crooked, uh, crackling... Cur curtailed? Patty Persimmon's curious case of the crumbling cookie. It's... electrifying. But we can't wait to come back for... Uh, the mangled macaroon. Hmm. Uh, we actually came by for... Would you happen to have the new Berry Big Glitz and Glamour magazine? We wanted to see where Cherry's latest song is on the charts. <sighs> Coming right up. Wait, watch this. Scouty, here, boy! Very big glitz and glamour magazine. Fetch, boy! No, 
That's point. Fetch, Scouty, fetch. I've been training him all week. <laughs> <laughs> Good, Scouty. Good boy. No, Scouty, it is not a toy. Go. There you are. Come back here. <laughs> no, Scouty. Cherry, sorry about the uh, slobber. <laughs> no worries. Thank you, Scouty. Thank See you. See you later, Blueberry. You want me to read it to you again? <laughs> I'm glad someone around here appreciates Patty Persimmon as much as I do. <laughs> Say, I know someone else who loves Patty as much as we do. Huckleberry. <laughs> I can't wait to read it, but I've been super busy trying to get Huck's Home for Homeless Dogs up on its feet. I'm afraid it's just not going to happen. Oh, Huckleberry, I'm so sorry. Hey, I, uh, have an idea that... <sighs> Scouty, down! That might help us both out. If you wouldn't mind coming out to... Scouty! <sighs> to Berry Bitty City for a couple of days. What kind of idea? Scouty! Hey there, Scouty. Tom Tom's town boy. I guess Tom Tom wouldn't mind a visit. Oh, yes. I know Scouty really misses Tom Tom. Tom Tom uh, misses Scouty, too. So, uh, I was trying to write a mystery story to submit to Berry Bitty Mysteries magazine. That's great, Blueberry. But I wasn't coming up with a lot of ideas, so I thought since you're as big a Patty Persimmon detective fan as I am, perhaps we could. Write the story together? If they bought the story, you would have funds for your pet shelter. Wow, I'm flattered that you'd ask me, but I've never written a story before. Oh, it'll be easy. We'll just... <laughs> Scouty, behave. We'll just write it like a Patty Persimmon mystery. Okay, I'm on my way. I'll be there tonight and... I'll be there. Tom, Tom, no. And this time we won't take a wrong turn. <laughs> okay, see ya. Bye. <laughs> Bye! Ha! We're not getting stuck in there again. Right, Tom Tom? Wow, they must have added a tunnel since we were here. Hmm, I think we should go this way. That's okay, don't worry. I know exactly where I'm going. Ah, oh, mud pies. Could you please get that, Bosley? Certainly. Good evening. Blueberry's Berry Bitty Bookstore. Bosley Bookworm speaking. May I speak with Blueberry? Oh, she's right here. Uh, for you, Blueberry. <laughs> Thanks, Bosley. Blueberry speaking. Oh, hi, Huckleberry. You're where? That's it! Bring her down! Huckleberry? You okay in there? Blueberry? Hi! Uh, any idea how long before I can get out of here? Tell them not to fret. We'll have them out of there by dinner time. <laughs> no worries! You and I are expert patty persimmon fans! Magazine is going to love our story. Please. 
When we're inside, we need to use our inside voices and inside manners, all right? Now please sit. No, Scouty. That's Search. <laughs> I'm still training him. See? Like Tom Tom. Sit. Good boy, Scouty. So I had this idea for a brand new detective. Peggy Periwinkle. What do you think? That uh, sounds great. But isn't it a little bit like Patty Persimmon? As close as I could get. But don't you think we should invent something, I don't know, different? Oh, no. That's the whole idea. It is? Sure. Because anyone who likes Patty Persimmon will automatically love Peggy Periwinkle. I guess. I knew you'd like it. You know, I've always had this idea for a new detective team who would go and... Don't worry. I have it all worked out. Ready? Okay, take this down. It all began on a dark and stormy night. Uh, no, strike that. A very dark and stormy night. A night perfectly made for... For... Crime? Crime! Perfect. But little did the creeping, crooked criminals know, it also was a perfect night. Or Patty, uh, Peggy Periwinkle, Ace Detective. Finished. The Berry Betty Mysteries editors are going to love it. It took all night, but it was worth it. Our story is great. Right, Huckleberry? Hey, oh, oh, what? Yeah, oh, yeah, great. Mm, what time is it? Time to mail our story. Well, I don't know about our story. I hardly had any ideas at all. Oh, that's silly. We're a great team. I'll meet you at Strawberry's Cafe for breakfast as soon as I mail this off at the post office. Bye. Blueberry pancakes, fresh and hot. Mmm, my favorite. Thanks for keeping breakfast going. Sorry I was late. I started telling everyone at the post office about the story How Can I wrote, and before I knew it, I just had to read them the whole thing, and they absolutely loved it. Everyone said it was just like a Patty Persimmon book. Strawberry, I have found the perfect writing partner. I'm gonna tell Huck that after we sell this story, we should just keep on writing Peggy Periwinkle books. Wait. Where is Huck? I thought we were going to... Have breakfast? Yeah. No, I mean, I thought he'd be here when I, uh... He already ate and left. I've said he had an idea for something he wanted to write. Oh. Sugar? Oh, um, no, no thanks. Okay, how about this? Hmm? A perfect day in every way. <gasps> Blue skies, not a shade of gray. But one thing's missing, and that's your smiling face. I like that. Really? Yeah, I, I hear it like this. A perfect day in every way. Blue skies, not a shade of gray. But one thing's missing, and that's your smiling face. Nice. How about this for the last verse? I could write this song all by myself, sing it solo, with no one else. But that would be lonely. It's true. Everything is better with you. They're writing a song together? That's just beautiful. I could write this song all by myself. Sing it solo with no one else. But that would be lonely. It's true. Everything is better with you. It was an even darker and stormier night than the night before. Peggy Periwinkle was looking for her flashlight when all of a sudden... Hi, Blueberry. Uh, hello. Uh, sorry I was late for breakfast. When I got there, you'd already gone. Yeah, I had to go and I needed to... I mean, I was, uh... Hey, could I get some paper from you and pencils? Oh, well, certainly. 
You know what we say. A complete line of stationery is always in stock at Blueberry's Bookstore. Doing some writing? Oh, just, you know, good to have in case any ideas pop up. Sort of jot them down. <laughs> Thanks. Well, see you later. Wait! Um, did I ever tell you that of all the Patty Persimmon fans in the Berry Bitty world, I have the largest collection of... Patty Persimmon Mystery Club detective hats? Wow! And the most complete collection of... Official Patty Persimmon magnifying glasses! Incredible! Wow. Oh, uh, look at the time. Gotta run. I have to, uh... Wow, thanks. Blueberry, that's... That's just fantastic. Like to look at it again sometime, but I gotta... Uh, see ya. I'm going to get to the bottom of this mystery, or my name isn't... Peggy Periwinkle. I think this will finish it. <gasps> Scouty! Shh. How's that? Perfect. A perfect day in every way. Blue skies, not a shade of gray. But one thing's missing, and that's your smiling face. Things are so much better when you're around. You pick me up when I'm feeling down. We make memories together that can't be replaced. I could write this song all by myself. Sing it solo with no one else. But that would be... that. What is it, boy? What'd you see? <laughs> Come on, Tom Tom. <gasps> Evening, Blueberry. Can I get you something? Your guitar? My guitar? I was wondering if I could borrow it. Of course. Are you... Well, I thought it would be nice to learn how to play. You know, music. And maybe sing and... Sure. You know, Cherry's a terrific teacher. Oh. Well, I'll just try on my own uh, at first. Thank you, Strawberry. Anytime. Becoming a pop star is going to be harder than I thought. I'm still not sure I understand. Well, Lemon, what I'm looking for is... Well, what's in style now? <sighs> well, what about this one I showed you before? I mean, more like something like... Oh, for example, what hairstyle did Cherry get the last time she was here? It's sort of low-key. I mean, if you're going for the newest, hippest, cutting edge... Uh, well, what if... Let's say Cherry, for example. I mean, I'm just using her as an example. I could say any pop star. I could say Delia Dragonfruit or the Four Berries or, hmm. you know... So, if Cherry, just for example, was about to perform a song at a concert, what if you did my hair like you think she'd wear it? Well, I'd have to ask her. Oh, no! Uh, don't do that! Because it would depend on the venue and the theme and... Do you have any other magazines? I'm sorry, Blueberry, but I gotta reschedule. 
schedule you. We've used up your whole appointment. Style consulting instead of styling. And Plum has a manicure in two minutes. Oh. Why don't you take these magazines home and look them over and decide what is you? That's just it. Me isn't good enough. But no matter what Peggy Periwinkle did, she could not solve the greatest mystery of all. Hi, Blueberry. I uh, hope I'm not too late to get some more copies of tomorrow's menu. Uh, no, that's fine. Just leave it and I'll have it, um, uh, done by morning. Working on another story? Mm-hmm. But Huckleberry's not here. Isn't he writing with you? I guess not anymore. Blueberry, is something wrong? Oh, Strawberry. I think he has a new writing partner. Who? Cherry Jam! They're writing a song together. Oh, Blueberry, it was supposed to be a surprise. A surprise? The words Huckleberry wrote that Cherry put to music. He wrote them for you. He wanted to show you that he's a good writer, even if he can't write exactly like the Patty Persimmon books. Oh, no! I made him think I didn't like his ideas. I never gave him a chance to get a word in edgewise. Oh, mystery solved. Okay, this is the one. This hat is going to give me the inspiration for great mystery ideas. You had good ideas. I just wasn't listening. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry about the whole misunderstanding about the song. Were you really going to change your hairstyle? But you're the one who taught me that you always have to be yourself. Then you know people like you for who you are. Remember? I remember. Well, how about we start our story? This time with your ideas. Okay, but just jump in any time, all right? I will. It wasn't a dark and stormy night. It was a wild and windy day. A day that was perfect for... Stan and Stacy, Stealth Sleuths. I like it. before the cafe opens. Hmm, guess it's a good morning to clean out the fridge. Oh, that's right. I cleaned it yesterday. <laughs> hmm, clean the oven. Oh, forgot. <laughs> cleaned it the day before. Looks like I'm all out of things to do. Hey, Pupcake. Think we should go strawberry shopping? <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come back! Cupcake, come back here! Good morning, Strawberry! Good morning, Plum! Good morning, Strawberry! Good morning, Blueberry! Good morning, Strawberry! Hi, Raspberry! Strawberry! Morning, Lemon! Mmm, 
What's that fragrance? Oh, my new lemon hair scent. Like it? Oh, delicious. Great! I have a new strawberry scented shampoo that'd be perfect for you. Stop by later, I'll give you some. Thank you. <laughs> Morning, Orange. Morning, Strawberry. Where are you off to? Soon as I can catch Pupcake to Berry Glen for some strawberries. Need anything while I'm there? Oh, uh, yes. Pick me a few sunflower seeds. You got it. Pupcake! <laughs> there you are. Now please don't budge. I gotta get some sunflower seeds for orange. Bye, Strawberry Shortcake. You are out early today. What is all this? My latest, greatest invention. A plant food that grows berry bitty fruits and vegetables. No more rolling apples all the way into town. Now they're just the right size for us. Mmm. Very delicious, too. <laughs> Thank you. But there's only one problem. <sighs> My berry bitty harvest is a bit more bountiful than I expected. Thank you. We've got to get these to Orange's general store before they spoil. Wait till she sees these. She'll be so excited. I'll help you, Berry Can Bloom. Thimbles, check. Thread, check. Berries and bobbins, buttons and bows. Check and check, check and check. Can I get you anything else? No, thank you, Orange. This is all I need. Alrighty then. And thank you for shopping at Orange's General Store. Where there's a place for everything and a thing for every place. Morning, Orange. Good morning, Very Bill. And what can I get for you today? I'll need three bolts, six nails, 12 pails, a bag of rags, a box of socks, and half a dozen wooden blocks. Got it. Oh, what kind of wood? Well, I hadn't really thought much about... I have pine, cherry, oak, mahogany, peach, apple, elm, ash, beech, hickory, ebony, cedar, poplar, maple, spruce, sycamore, teak, rosewood, rubberwood, cottonwood, walnut, and willow. Um... I'm having a special this week on willow. I'll take willow. Good choice. And will there be anything else? Got any sunflower seeds? Ooh, all out. 
fact, a fresh shipment is coming in today. Oh, Orange, I got your sunflower seeds. See? If we don't have it, we'll get it at Orange's General Store. The place where there's a place for everything and a thing for, um, every some place? <laughs> Good morning, Orange. Might you have room in your store for some delicious, nutritious berry bitty fruits and vegetables fresh from my berry own bitty garden? Wow. Um, yeah, uh, sure. Of course. Bring it on. You know, this is a lot of stuff. Can I give you some help making room for it? Oh, no, 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 no. Thank you. I can make room on my own. Well, okay, but if you need any help rearranging... Don't be silly, Strawberry. Organization is my specialty. Okay, bring it in! <laughs> now, Custard! <laughs> This is not a toy. <laughs> wow! Do you think the store with a thing for every place has too many things and not enough places? Looks like Orange could use our help. Every time I ask, she says she's got it under control. Psst! Do you want to see what under control looks like? Control. Whoa! Uh, so uh, refreshing. <laughs> okay. Well, we're going to the cafe for breakfast. <laughs> Gotta run! I'll keep some waffles warm for you in case you get a break. Okay. Who's next? Nope. He's been quiet here too. Not a customer all day. How about you? Nobody since you guys were here. The whole town's at Orange's store. I've had so much spare time, I reorganized all my potholders, alphabetized my spices, and now I'm sketching some designs for a bedroom makeover. Orange has got to be swamped. Too bad she won't let us help her. I know. I think she's sensitive about accepting help. She feels it's like admitting she failed. Did she ever come by for breakfast? Nope. 
I finally had to give away the stack of waffles I'd saved for her. <laughs> At least they didn't go to waste. Poor Orange, she's gotta be hungry. It's almost lunchtime. I'm bringing her a sandwich. Least I can do. See you, Lemon. Okay, later. Galloping gooseberries! Radishes and rutabagas. Who wanted the radishes and rutabagas? Hey, well, you, I Tomatoes, potatoes, turnips, and peas. Who asked for tomatoes, potatoes, turnips, and peas? Excuse me. Um, pardon me. I beg your pardon. Oh, excuse me. Wow, is business ever booming? I brought you a sandwich. Thanks, but I can't take a lunch break just now. Papayas and peaches! Who ordered the papayas and... Right here, right here! Wow, you really worked out a great system here. <laughs> Hi. Excuse me, those are for produce only. Creative experience, nothing beats painting in a watercoloring book. <laughs> Extraordinary talent! You may want to enroll him in an advanced painting class. She'll get upset. Oh, that's just silly. Helping each other is what friends are for. And I have plenty of spare time today. Look how pretty all the vegetables look in these crates. Well, she's got it into her head that the mess came from her store. And if she doesn't clean it herself, we'll think she isn't good at running her store. It's not her fault. There isn't enough room for all this stuff in her store. Yeah, what you'd need is a whole other store. Hmm. I smell 
smell something. Uh, mangoes? No, an idea. Huh. Hi, Orange. Be right with you. Almost done here. Everything under control. Good, because I desperately need your help with something. What is it, Strawberry? What do you need? Um, it's kind of personal. Do you have five minutes for a cup of tea at the cafe? Um, well, sure, I guess. Um, I'll just close up for a few minutes. Great. Don't worry. I'll have you back in a flash. There. Back in a flash. So, I was saying, I need to ask you a favor. Anything? Well, I have this dream of... Custard? No! I said, that's not a toy! This... this dream of opening a side business. Yeah? How fun! Well, what kind of business? Well, that's the trouble. I have nothing to sell. Hmm. So that's where you come in. I was hoping you wouldn't mind if I sold Berrykin Bloom's next Berry Bitty Harvest in a... sort of a... produce marketplace. But only if you'd be willing to part with it. A marketplace? What a great idea! <laughs> Wait a minute. Are you doing this for me? Well, I'm, I'm doing it mostly because it would be fun for me. And fun for me, too! Not to have to run my store and sell all those fruits and veggies. I don't know why I didn't let you help me before. I'm so wiped out. Do you think the girls would mind helping me get my store cleaned up? Done! Oh, you are all so sweet! Thank you. You always help us, Orange. Why wouldn't we help you? Well, we all need to help Strawberry. Because she's opening up a new marketplace! We're on it! <laughs> well, looks great, everyone. I think that's enough for one day. I can take it from here. Thank you so much for helping me get started. You're welcome. Sure, no anytime. Strawberry. Goodbye. See you tomorrow, Strawberry. Emergency! What is it, Berrykin Bloom? It's my new plant food that shrinks the fruits and veggies to our size. It also shrinks the time from seed to harvest. I've got a new crop coming in only two weeks. Oh, no! This marketplace has to be built in half the time. Girls, come back. I didn't mean to interrupt. Hi, J.D. Buck. No problem. Just rehearsing for this week's Cafe Cabaret. Can I get you something? I was just wondering if I could bother you for a, um, cup of tea? Of course. Have a seat, wherever you'd like. What kind of tea are you in the mood for? <sighs> oh, something warm and comforting. Lemon or mint? Oh, dear. Oh, my. I can't decide. What do you think? Chamomile. May I ask, 
You seem a little jumpy. Is anything wrong? I'm nervous. It's my cousins. Sadie Bug and Katie Bug? They just left a message on my phone that they're coming to visit for a whole week. And I'm gonna have to tell them they can't. Why not? My, um, guest room. It's being repainted. Oh, they'll be so disappointed beside themselves. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna tell them. Oh, my. Well, what if they stay with me here at the cafe? Oh, they put you through much too much trouble. I'd be thrilled to have house guests. It'd be fun. Are you sure? Really? I'm very sure. I have a book with tips on hostessing somewhere up here. Good. I want ideas on how to make them feel really welcome and special. We could make them gift bags. Oh, yeah, like little travel or, oh, you know, um, overnight kits. Oh, I could even sew them. Here it is. Thanks, Blueberry. I could put a toothbrush, toothpaste, and pretty hand soaps inside. Wow, that would be very nice, Orange. The very best hostess. Take the guesswork out of having guests. At home, away from home. The first rule of being a hostess is making your guests feel comfortable. Comfortable? Oh, what else does it say? Um, a good hostess will tolerate the quirks of her guests. Never embarrass them by pointing out that their ways of doing things are different from yours. So, if they sleep upside down, don't say anything? <laughs> Guess so. <laughs> their arrival should be a celebration. We could throw a tea party in their honor. Oh, we can have it in the cafe. I'll make a welcome banner. I'll help you. Thanks, Lemon. Watch out. Your guests will love it so much, next thing you know, you'll have to open a hotel. All this for my cousins? Isn't it gonna be fun? Oh, but Strawberry, you've gone to so much trouble. You all have. Oh, me. Oh, my. You even embroidered their gift bags. But that's what being a good hostess is all about, J.D. Bug. I'm enjoying this, really. But you don't even know if they'll end up staying very long. I thought they were staying for a week. Oh, yes, but <laughs> oh, you never know what will happen. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> Katie Bug, Sadie Bug, it's uh, been too long. Likewise. What to eat? Oh, uh, I. Welcome to Berry Bitty City. It's so nice to see you. Everyone, this is Sadie Bug and Katie Bug. Hi, I'm Nice to meet you. You'll be staying with me at my cafe. Can I help you with your bags? Sure. Knock yourself out. During the day, I'm sure you'll be visiting with your cousin, but after the cafe closes, I have a place fixed up for you upstairs. <laughs> Why would we visit J.D. Bug when we can hang out where the food is? <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, you're just joking, right? Your cousins sure are kidders, J.D. Bug. <laughs> yeah, kidders. <laughs> Ooh, ooh, what did you get? Hey, I want that. Uh, not fair. Let me see yours. Yours is better. It is not. Is too. Hey, that's my favorite color. Is not. Yeah, huh? Is so. What? No straw? I beg your pardon? <laughs> A straw? That's wacky. Oh, my. <laughs> Give me. That's mine. But it's mine. No. Finders keepers. Oh, girls. We don't use straws in a teacup. Remember, a good hostess will tolerate the quirks of her guests. That's a quirk. 
joke are just bad manners. Bad manners, I'm afraid. My cousins are the worst of the worst. <laughs> oh, Sadie Bug! Uh, Katie Bug! <laughs> Well, at least they seem comfortable, I think. I guess this is just their way. Oh, Strawberry, I am so sorry. I don't think you're going to be able to tolerate their ways for very long. No, no, J.D. Bug. I volunteered to host them, and that's what I'm going to do. Hey, Strawberry! How's everything going with the twins? The great stuff! I brought you a treat. Ooh, come here. Look at this. Girl, <coughs> let's not use up all of <coughs> Orange's perfume. <coughs> Yum! Mmm, thank you, Strawberry. My pleasure. Well, I'm off to deliver the rest of these. See you later. Thanks again. You're welcome. Girls? <gasps> Hi, girls. How's the dance number coming? Almost ready for this week's Cafe Cabaret. Ooh, ooh, uh, we can dance. Watch. We're really good. Huh? <laughs> they should do a comedy routine at your cabaret. Please! <laughs> Don't encourage them. <laughs> So, how's it going, being the perfect hostess? Uh, well... Oh, boy! You must be having a great time! Uh-huh. They must love the guest room the way you fixed it up for them. Well, they like my bedroom better. You gave them your bedroom? Uh, they sort of took it. But it's nice for me <laughs> to have a chance to sleep in the guest room. Huh? Too bad there's not a book called How to Be the Very Best Guests. <gasps> Those are my cooking utensils. Please don't put them in the dirt. Ah, come on. What are we supposed to do? Yeah, we want to be sculptors. We're making art. <laughs> If you'd like something to eat, I'll fix it for you. But I'm going to have to ask you not to eat out of the refrigerator. <laughs> Please. Uh, this is a cafe. Mm, like where people eat stuff. Mm. And mm. that's what we're doing. Uh -huh. Huh? Mm. better in you. Nuh-uh. Uh-huh. Uh, girls, I really need to practice for Cafe Cabaret. It's an evening of entertainment I host in the cafe. It's in a couple of days. Oh, we'll help you. Testing. <sighs> Ugh. How do you turn this thing on? <laughs> Ooh, we are live. Hit it, Sadie Bug. Very best friends forever. Ever, 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 ever. Give me that. <laughs> Very best friends for forever. Forever. <laughs> <laughs> we 
idea. We were really going somewhere with that. Going somewhere? I wish you would go. <sighs> we don't want to give away the surprise of the performance before cabaret night, do we? Oh. She's totally got a point. Okay, from the top. <laughs> oh, Mr. Longface, how are you? Uh, could I have a word, Miss Shortcake? Outside. Of course. So, what did you do with me? My guests aren't disturbing you, are they? Well, uh, I really came to see how you were holding up. Oh. That's very kind of you, Mr. Longface. Well, I was thinking you could probably do with a break from hostessing. Why not let me watch the cafe for the rest of the day and you take a breather at the pond or anywhere far away from here and then? Oh, I couldn't. After all, they are my guests. You could. I insist. Mr. Longface, I don't know how I can thank you enough. You'd better go now, while they're occupied. I'll keep them entertained. Good luck. The fragrance of the blooming flowers was carried by a warm, gentle breeze to the snout of the little rabbit, who knew at last spring had arrived. There was only one thing that kept the little rabbit from enjoying the calm peace of the meadow. <laughs> I'm sorry, Custard. Pupcake. We'll finish the story later. I can't relax. I have a strange feeling that all is not right back at the cafe. I just feel like I better check on Mr. Longface and... and... those twins. <laughs> Sorry, Miss Shortcake. I tried to stop them, but they're, they're unstoppable. They buttered the floor. <laughs> buttered the floor? Why would a person butter a floor? <laughs> The cafe is closed. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah. Uh, we'll come back later and help you clean up. We got a little carried away. Uh. Oh, a little help here. Strawberries Cafe. Hope you're having a very nice day. Oh, hello, Princess Berrykin. Yes, they're cleaning everything up, doing a very good job. I can't believe those two left the juice taps running. I'll talk to you later, Princess. I came to help. Thank you, Blueberry. Strawberry, it's time you sent them packing. Who? You know who. Those house pests. How can I kick someone out that I invited? I mean, are they really that bad? I know you don't want to say anything bad about your guests, but sometimes it helps to confide in a friend. You know, let off some steam. <sighs> you know, you're right. I should confide in someone. So you see, girls, I do want you to stay here, and I want you to feel comfortable, but I want to feel comfortable too. Huh? Oh, <laughs> girls. Are you listening? So, I need you to be more considerate to me and to the customers. And I can help you with your manners, if you'll agree to listen. Listen, I've heard enough. So have I. Oh, have you ever heard such rudeness in your life? Huh? We can tell when we aren't wanted. Well, I don't know how staying with me would work. 
See, I just moved all my new clocks into the guest room. It's my clock winding room. Sorry. Oh, well, um, you could sleep on my floor. That is, uh, oh, if you know, <laughs> I didn't have all my dress patterns laid out just now. <sighs> oh, I'm really sorry. All my cousins are visiting right now. There's, uh, hundreds of them. I'm just, uh, full up. Uh, I'm leaving for vacation. Tonight. Uh, right, right now. Um, oh, we could house it. Oh, no. I mean, you see, the floor just got polished. I can't walk on it. <laughs> yeah. Very pity city is so rude. Yeah, rude like those people in Gladiola Glen. And the folks in Melonville. Rude, rude, rude. Oh, people seem so friendly at first. Then they're always turning on us. I just don't get it. Hello. How's about putting us up for the night? <sighs> I'm afraid I can't. Why not? The truth is, I don't like the way you treated your last hostess. My friend Strawberry? Oh! <gasps> Neither do we. Okay. <laughs> We're so sorry, Sadie Bug and Katie Bug. We should have told you the truth. We made up excuses so we wouldn't have to host you. And that wasn't right. You mean, none of you like us? We like you, but we don't think you've used good manners as house guests. You can be funny, but you aren't very considerate. Hey! I figured it out. Don't feel badly, Strawberry. Everywhere else the twins have stayed, they've been kicked out by... 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 You are the first host who didn't kick them out. <laughs> it's true. We got something to say. Oops. Oh, <laughs> I mean, um, may we come in? Well, sure. Please do. <clears throat> okay. We'd like to say we're sorry. We thought everyone else was rude, but now we see it was always us. Yeah, you were like the perfect hostess. And you were the first person to be honest with us. And we were totally awful. Uh-huh, icky. Really, ew. Will you still teach us how to have good manners? Uh-huh, and be nice house guests? I never thought I'd see the day. I'll make you a deal. I'll teach you good manners. <laughs> if you also let me teach you how to sing. Oh, deal. But good luck teaching us to sing. <laughs> yeah, we're pretty awful. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> Take our chance In the end it's always worth it
Get it back. Strawberry, here! Huh? I know who this belongs to. Once upon a time, there was a princess who lived in a far, far, far away land, and she was... Oh! Ah! Ah! Oh! Ah! Oh, excuse me. Here, let me help you out. Sorry. Yours? No. Mine? Mine. And the prince married the princess, and they live happily ever after. <sighs> There, finished it. Just in time for Blueberry's Book Club. Oh, here, Plum. Huh? Oh, thanks. I forgot where I left that. In the boat. Oh, yeah. That was it. I've been so busy practicing for my dance recital, I'd forget my hair if it wasn't attached. It, it is attached, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no problem. The boat drifted away, though. Maybe you forgot to tie it up. Mm, no, I tied it up. Maybe... You forgot to use two knots? One knot, two knots. Not that it matters. <laughs> well, it mattered to the Berrykins. They had to get the boat back from the middle of the lake. Uh, just saying, you know, two knots is the rule. Whose rule? I do not recall. <laughs> well, Lemons, it's her boat. Well, maybe it's a silly rule. But don't tell her I said so. I do not want to get in trouble. <laughs> Hi, Plum. What you mailing? Invitations to my dance recital. Great. Hey, I'm, I'm getting one, aren't I? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Huh? Got him! <sighs> Thanks, J.D. Bug. Wow! There must be enough letters here for... for... For everyone who lives in Berry Bitty City and every last berry kin in Berry Grove. Uh-huh. Wow! They all need to go out right away. Could you please stamp them extra special, super urgent, ultra fast delivery? <gasps> I... Uh, I get to use my extra special, super urgent, ultra fast delivery stamp? <laughs> They'll be delivered faster than you can say! Extra special, super urgent, ultra fast delivery! Thanks! An invitation to Plum's dance recital! Wow! <laughs> wow! 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 What? 
Is something wrong, Miss Shortcake? The date of Plum's dance recital. She's holding it here at the Cafe Cabaret stage, which is fine. Except that I think the date she invited us for is already taken. Oh, no. Blueberry signed up for that very date. Wait a minute. Plum didn't sign up at all. Oh, it must be some mistake. She knows the rule about signing up. Everybody does. Strawberry! Oh, hello, Mr. Longfeet. Hello, Miss Muffin. Strawberry, did you give Plum my cafe cabaret night? The baby Berrikins are going to be so disappointed. I'm supposed to read their favorite story to them. I did not give her your night. Plum must have forgotten to sign up, or, or to check if the date was taken, or... <sighs> it's all right. She'll have to reschedule her dance recital. But, but she already sent all the invitations. Oh, poor Plum. I know. I feel badly, but fair is fair, and you followed the rules, and she didn't. Don't worry. I'll explain it to her. <sighs> well, okay. Thank you, Strawberry. I don't envy you having to tell Plum. I don't envy me either. Somebody's going to be very disappointed. <laughs> Do you have a minute? Sure. Oh, did you get my invitation? Um, yes. That's just it. The day you invited everyone, the cabaret stage is taken already. <clears throat> Why? Well, you never signed up for it. But, okay, so I'll sign up now. It's too late. Blueberry reserved it weeks ago to read to the baby Berrykins. Oh, no. Could she switch it to another date? It's not her. It's the rules for the cafe. It's my rules. Well, can't we just change the rules this time? She could read to the Baby Berrykins any night. That's not the point. She followed the rule, so it wouldn't be fair for her to have to move her night. Oh, but all those invitations! I made them myself, by hand! I'm sorry, Plum. I'll help you redo your invitations if you'd like. No, that's all right. I'll do them myself. Well... I'm really sorry, Plum. I'm here to help if you need me. Did you say Plum's new dance recital invitation? <laughs> I think it's the best joke she's ever played. Oh, boy. I haven't checked my mail yet. What does it say? She moved the date of the recital and the place. Now it's in her dance studio, not Strawberry's Cafe. And she says there are new rules for entering the studio. Listen. To gain admission to dance studio, please, one, wear a yellow hat, two, knock three times, and three, guess the secret password. <laughs> oh, no. That plum, what a jokester. Um, I don't think she's joking. Of course she is. Isn't she? She's mad about my sign-up sheet rule at the cafe. But that's a rule that makes sense. Wear a hat and knock three times? That's just nonsense. Yoo-hoo! Miss Pudding, the door's locked. <laughs> We're here for our dance lessons. I hear knocking, but not three times. Strawberry was right. She wasn't kidding. I thought maybe she was being silly. She's definitely being silly. Password, please? Betcha it's a ballet dance step. Plie? <laughs> nay, nay. Sorry. It's her favorite pie. Uh, um, is it gooseberry? My favorite pie. But not the password. Hmm. How about ridiculous? <laughs> ridiculous it is. I'll say. Uh, uh. Yellow hats? But we don't have any yellow hats. Then I'm afraid... Are you serious? You're not going to let us in because we're not wearing hats? Yellow hats. Oh, but Miss Pudding, I've been practicing my foxtrot for a week. I almost have all my feet together. <laughs> fair is fair. Rules are rules. Oh, I've never heard of anything so silly. Hmm, me neither. 
Oh, but it gives me an idea. Oh, shoot, shoot. Okay, so we're okay. Where's Plum? She's never late for book club. Maybe I'll give her a call. Hi, Plum. It's Strawberry. We're all waiting for you over at Blueberries for book club. Uh-huh. Okay. I understand. She says she needs to practice for the recital. Hmm. She should have had plenty of time to practice today, given that she wouldn't let anyone in for class. I know. I don't know what's gotten into her. Sesame? Sorry. Tickle? Nope. <sighs> well, I'll have to come by another time then. I can't guess. That's it. You got it. Hmm? The password. It's guess. <laughs> Pretty clever, huh? Uh, uh, but you're not wearing a yellow hat. Plum, I think we need to talk. I know you're upset with me, but it seems like you're taking this grudge too far. I don't know what you mean. All these nonsense rules? If you think my rules are nonsense, what about Raspberry's rules? Raspberry has rules? Come in. <laughs> but don't forget, you may only stand on the dots. What? Oh, Strawberry! It's you! You don't have to stand on the dots. May I ask, who does? Well, when Plum comes here for her fittings of her dance costume, she has to. Ooh. Fair's fair. If Plum's going to make me obey silly rules for her dance studio, then she's going to have to obey my silly rules, too. <laughs> and besides, I'm not the only one who feels this way. Lemon and Mr. Longface have silly rules for Plum, too. What kind of rules? <laughs> well, uh, Lemon makes Plum wear a green hat to come to the salon, then whistle while she's getting her hair and nails done. Oh, and she has to recite a poem called Ode to a Caterpillar and call Mr. Longface, Sir Highness Longface, before she can even enter his mini bitty golf course. <laughs> I know, I know. I think Plum's rules are silly, too. Holding a grudge does not do anyone any good. But I think you're making things worse by holding a grudge, too. Besides, rules should be for everybody. It's not fair that you just make Plum follow your rules. Oh, that is a good point, Miss Shortcake. Excellent point. Okay, Strawberry. I understand. Me, too. Oh, I'm glad. More tea? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hi, Strawberry. <laughs> Why are you wearing green hats? We gotta. Lemon's new rules. Oh, really? <laughs> Wonderful shot, Sir Highness Longface. <laughs> Ooh, why, why, thank you. Ooh, too bad. <laughs> yes, it's your turn again, Sir Highness Longface. <sighs> That's my ball, Sir Highness Longface. Oh, my mistake, Sir Highness. I, I mean, uh, oh, oh, this doesn't work playing miniature golf against oneself. Oh, uh, hi. Orange, are you going to come try on your new shirt? It's ready. I don't think so. It's too hard hopping from dot to dot. Oh, uh, okay. Oh. Bye, then. Hi, Blueberry. Are you coming for your manicure this week? You haven't rescheduled. Sorry, Lemon. My lips are still sore from whistling at my pedicure. Think I better wait till next week. Okay. Uh, no problem. Huh. Strawberry? 
Hi, it's Lemon. I'm having a special on facial scrubs today, and, um, well, what I'm trying to say is, you don't have to whistle. Oh, you were right. Our acting like Plum doesn't solve anything. Thanks, Lemon. I'm glad to hear you say so. I'll see you soon. Oh, those smell heavenly. <laughs> Thank you. That was Lemon. She's decided to get rid of her silly new rules. So have I, Miss Shortcake. Too much trouble for everyone. No one comes to play mini bitty golf anymore. Now, if only Plum would get rid of hers. <laughs> oh, Plum, you don't have to stand on the dots. I. I, I don't? No, <laughs> I decided it was a silly rule. People got so tired of it that no one wanted to come to the boutique anymore. Here you are. Oh, it's beautiful, Raspberry. Thank you. Uh, you RSVP'd no to my invitation. Oh, uh, well, you see, the only people who are coming are Blueberry and Strawberry. Oh, it's my new rules, isn't it? Hmm, well, to be honest, yes. I've been too busy to make a yellow hat. Well, guess what? For my recital, I'm waving all the rules at my studio. Now will you come? No hats, no knocking, no password. I'm in. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I wanted to let you know that I'm waving all my dance studio rules tonight. So please come to my recital. <laughs> Hi, Orange. Hi, JD Bug. Need some help? Almost there. We're going to break this up into bags of nut mix. Aren't they cute? Raspberry made them. She made my dress for my recital tonight. Uh, oh! oh <laughs> that's um, nice. <laughs> Gee. I wanted to let you know that for one night and one night only, I'm waving my dance studio rules. So I'm hoping you'll both change your minds and come to my show tonight. Okay, I'll be there. <laughs> Me too. outside. You were wonderful, Plum. And what a beautiful costume. Oh, thank you. Raspberry did a great job. Ah! What's wrong? My dance floor. Oh, there are little holes in it. It's ruined. Jady Bug. Yes, Plum? Stop. Don't move. Your shoes. What is it? I'm afraid your heels made little puncture marks in Plum's dance floor. Oh, goodness. I feel terrible. But everyone knows my rule about footwear in my studio. No heels. It was my first and oldest rule. But you told us you were waving all your studio rules tonight. I... Well, I thought that meant the shoe rule, too. <sighs> I am so very sorry. I just didn't think about why you had that rule. But now I see why it was needed. Oh, Plum. What can I do? I'll help you refinish your floor, Plum. You will? Certainly. Me too, Plum. Thank you, J.D. Bug. Don't feel bad. It's my own fault. I didn't make it clear about the rules. Strawberry, you... You'd help me after I've been acting so foolish and holding a grudge and everything? Of course, Plum. I'd be very glad to help. You were right, Strawberry. Your sign-up rule was a good one, and I should have respected it, even if I didn't understand why it was important at the time. If you don't understand why a rule is important, next time, just ask. I will. Don't forget to use two knots. 
We would not want the boat to get loose. And it is Lemon's rule. And it's a good one. It sure is. It won't drift away again now. Most certainly not. <laughs> to forget the honey. Got it. You like the carrots? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 and twirl the very best princess baton. Really? I have to twirl the very best princess baton? I'd better practice. Twirl the buffet. Right, the buffet. Apple the cobbler. Cobbler? And add the black... Uh, blurkles. Get all the wings. The dinner. the buffet. Before, after... What is I'm sorry, but I still don't know what my duties are. It's quite simple, actually. Princess Berry King's Bitty Book of Berry Fest Princess Duty says, the princess shall preside over the festivities of Berry Fest, especially the parade must be the very best. What does that mean exactly? It means you're responsible for getting everything ready. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Uh, wait, please. This is a great honor, but I'm not sure I know how to put on a parade. Oh, of course. How silly of me. Here's the things to do list. Thank you. This doesn't look so bad. <gasps> oh, galloping grape leaves. This is a lot to do, Custard. Oh, how am I going to get it all done? Hmm, what would a leader do? I know. No, she would give tasks to the members of her team. But who's my team? <laughs> my friends, of course. And you know, Custard, they've already said they want to help me. Now, all I have to do is assign some of these tasks. Hello, Blueberry. Hi, Lemon. Oh, Plum, my friend. Would you be able to help me with the parade, please, Orange? Raspberry, could you please help me with something? We'd love to! No, oh, I knew they'd help me. See you later, Custard! <laughs> I'm on my way to plan the buffet, but I thought I'd stop by to see how the garland is. <gasps> huh? What are you doing? I'm sorting these nut pieces for the squirrels. The real nuts got mixed in with the metal nuts. I want everything in my store organized so I can focus on making the garland like you asked. Maybe sorting nuts should wait till after the parade. I'd be happy to help you then. When the box said mixed nuts, <laughs> they weren't kidding. And just when I have so much work on my hands... You know, that garland is very important to the parade. <gasps> oh, no! Look at the time! I I'm late to pick up the petals for my garlands. Um, Strawberry, could you watch my store for just a few minutes? Uh, 
Sure, Orange. Go ahead. Oh, and if you're bored, feel free to sort the nuts. Plum, have you finished the berry can dance for after the parade? Not yet, but I've decided that Orange and I should perform the berry bitty bunny hop during the parade. But the berry kins have to. Since Orange isn't here, I need you to try out some steps with me. I'd <laughs> love to help Plum, but I'm actually in the middle of a sorting project for Orange. Oh, that's okay. You can keep sorting while you hop. Come on, Strawberry! <laughs> these wonderful wings for the butterfly float. Oh, at last, someone is helping me. Thank you. Hi, Strawberry. Hi, Raspberry. Oh, <laughs> hi, Lemon. Say, Lemon, could I please hear the music you picked for the parade? That's what I came to talk to you about. Wow, is that the butterfly wing I'll be standing next to? Sure is. You want to hold it? Of course. Um... <laughs> See? A perfect match. <laughs> that looks great, girls. But could we please focus on our parade tasks? Say, do you know what will really make this wing spectacular? Rhinestones! I've got a rhinestone fastener at home. I'll just add some sparkles to this, and it'll be much more springtime paradier. Oh, but wait, the wings are supposed to look exactly the same. I'm sorry Lemon decided to change your design. Oh, no, no, no. She's so right. They should be sparklier. Hey, you know, I'm gonna add a little bit of glitter glue to my wing, too. <laughs> or maybe a lot. Yes, sparkles would be nice. But don't we have more important things to do right now, Raspberry? Like for the parade? <laughs> oh, no, but making the wings more sparkly. 
Sparkly is helping the parade. <laughs> right. Then maybe you and Lemon could decorate the wings together. You know, help each other. Speed things up. <laughs> Well, since you're here, you could help me, <laughs> you know, speed things up. I apologize, Raspberry, but I just can't right now. I have a dozen unfinished things to do. Thanks for all your hard work on the float. Gotta go, bye! <sighs> I've tried to be a good leader, Custard, but things haven't gone well. I assigned tasks to my friends and then followed up with them and motivated them, but somehow nothing got finished, Custard. Uh, custard? <laughs> That's exactly right. You got distracted by something, and so did my friends. It's easy to do. I just wish they could be more helpful to each other. It seems like everybody is so stressed. And I don't know how I'm supposed to do each and everything on this list, right down to the last task. Huh? What's this, Custer? Oh, did you find something? Oh, it's the very last task. Oh no, not another one. It says, I wrote this so fast, I put this task last. But it's rule number one, make the parade fun. <laughs> Everyone knows that. No, wait. That's what I'm doing wrong. I've assigned so many tasks that no one is having fun. Hmm, maybe I'm expecting too much of everyone. From now on, I'll just have to work harder. Twirling. Mm, yep. Mm, working on it. <laughs> Strawberry. Huh? I know it's getting late, but this is all the garland I've gotten done so far. Oh, that's fine, Orange. Don't worry. Leave this here and I'll take care of the rest. Thank you very much. Oh, and Orange, keep smiling. Uh, okay. <sighs> Look, Strawberry, I changed the parade route again. I like this one much better. <gasps> what do you think? Oh, just one second, Blueberry. Uh. <gasps> Wait, these posts are in the wrong place. That's the old route. This is the new route. If I'd gotten your map sooner, Blueberry, we could have changed things. But no time now. We'll have to go with your own. But I did this one in ink. Oh, don't be upset. I'll try and move the posts. I want you to be happy. Hey, Blueberry, check out my bunny hop. I made it way better. That's the fifth time you've made it better, Plum. Hey, Strawberry, which huh? of our wings looks prettier? <laughs> Girls, this is a parade, not a competition. It's supposed to be fun. <laughs> they both look fine. See, she likes mine best. Uh-uh, not in a billion trillion years. Oh, oh. Oh. Look, Strawberry. I had to make more garland because Blueberry tells me the parade route is now longer. <laughs> what are we supposed to decorate with that? A shoebox? At least I'm doing something useful. Um, can somebody help me, please? Dancing is useful, not when it's too hard to do. I can't possibly learn your new double hoppity in time. It isn't my fault that Lemon took so long choosing the music. Hey, you're hopping on my map! Huh? Whoa. Ow! Would you mind keeping that thing out of my face? Yours is a monstrosity. My map is ruined. Hopping is silly. You're lucky all you have to do is garland. Oh, no. This is no fun. So, so yeah. 
somebody? I gave them so much work, they've forgotten how to be nice to one another. Well, at least one of them has come back to help me. Strawberry, I'm not good with the needle and thread, and this needs some beef. I'll be back in ten minutes to pick it up. Gotta go. So behind on the music. <gasps> Galloping gooseberries! <gasps> She can't be found. <laughs> Have you seen Strawberry? No, but I found her baton in the cafe. She's not in any of the shops. And we've looked everywhere. What if she quit? Why would anyone give up being the very best princess? Well, she did mention having a lot of tasks. Well, I did my task. <sighs> uh, sorta. Yeah, I kind of let her down too, I guess. She asked me to do just one little thing, and I just kept asking her to help me. And I didn't even say please. Girls, I think we all got so wrapped up in our little projects and what we needed that we didn't even pay attention to what Strawberry needed. <laughs> no wonder she took off. If I was her, I'd quit too. I was so selfish. She kept asking us to help each other, and instead we were just rude to each other. I was mean. And she only asked us to do one little thing. And I messed it up with my rhinestones. No, no. It was all me with my silly glitter. Trying to have the best wing. Why didn't we just help each other out like she asked? <laughs> Here, please take my hanky. Thank you. We're all to blame. And after Strawberry worked so hard. <laughs> what a great leader. Never complained. Always polite. Heart of gold. And she cared so much about us having fun. And now... Still hear her pleading voice in my memory. <gasps> Please? Wait! That voice is real! <gasps> Look! Up there! <gasps> hey! Over here! Whoa. We've just got to save her! Come on, everyone! I watched you all march here to my rescue. 
I wish you could have seen it. Marching and singing and <laughs> carrying garlands. It looked like a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Once we worked together and were nice to each other. Girls, I was worried for a minute we wouldn't have a parade. But you just gave me the best parade ever. We did? We did! No, no, no. Let's be clear about this. Strawberry, it was you who made this parade happen. You never gave up, even when no one was helpful. And we all thank you from the very bottom of our hearts. Oh, you're making me feel like a real princess. <laughs> <laughs>